hi there, it's Paisley. Um, this video is gonna, I mean, I mean it's a vlog, video blog thing, so, yeah, it's just whatever. But, now this video is inspired by uh, the new challenge that is out that I am seeing. Uh, this challenge has started, uh, uh, from what the article say, fans, I'm sorry, but anybody who does this challenge is not a fan of Cameron Boyens. Not a fan. And is very disrespectful to him, to his mourning family, and to people who actually have seizures. People are going out in public and faking seizures because of his death and how he died since he died in a seizure. That is extremely disrespectful, and I am really upset because, I mean, before he died... People with seizures and people with epilepsy are not taken seriously. People do not realize how it feels to be terrified, to hate your life, because you can't live your life. Everybody else gets to do things that you can't do. Everybody else gets to have fun with it, and you have to sit home. You get left out, you get left behind. No one thinks about, hey, Maybe at this carnival, we shouldn't have strobing lights for the people with epilepsy and seizures can be here, too. No, 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 no. You just don't get to go to carnivals. I don't get to go to carnivals, movie theaters, bars, uh, clubs. Uh, majority of public events, I don't get to go because of strobing lights. So, and a lot of, you know, and dying in a seizure is a real thing. So the fact that people are going around faking seizures and making it to where you can't actually trust if someone's having a seizure or not puts the person who's actually having a seizure in quite some danger. Because now, normally where people would react to, oh my god, there's someone convulsing, now people are just like, oh, they're probably just doing the challenge. It's probably fake. Luckily, if it wasn't for my service dog, who actually just recently... We just got her vest. Uh, she's still in training. She's only seven months old. Her name's Eva. Let me show off her thing here. I'm trying to see. There it goes. Service dog. Got like a little vest here. We're uh, since uh to get them registered. Sorry, I'm just showing my wall. But since we get them registered, she's taking a nap. Uh, it costs a lot of money to get when you get them registered. Well, the right what comes with the registration is the service dog, an actual vest, leash, collar, and identification card with the tag. Um, but because she's in training and she's only seven months up, seven months old, and she can't actually get her registration done until she's a year. Um, what we've done is we went to this pet store and spent a freaking lot of money. On a harness that has a handle on it for bigger dogs and then we engraved service dog on her tag dog tag and we are going into uh, we are making patches uh, for epilepsy service dog or epileptic service dog uh, and we're going to sew them on there so we can make a in training vest so then, so then she's not wearing the registered service dog because she's still in training. I mean, she's constantly going to be in training because for the amount of time it takes for a service dog to learn what she's learning, uh, it takes years. And so she's going to be registered before she fully learns. Like right now, uh, she's at the point where she responds to convulsion. And, uh, she more or less just lets people know, like, that in public, that I'm actually having a seizure. That's all she knows right now. It's more like she comes up to my face and licks my face. Like, hey, you're having a seizure. Hey, are you okay? Hey, you okay? You need help? That's mainly her reaction right now. She's only seven months old, and she's only really had one full day of the session to where I randomly walk around and drop to the ground and pretend to convulse throughout the day inside home. I will never do this in public because, like I said, that's I faking a seizure is wrong. But 
I'm doing it to train my service dog, so it's a little bit different. Um, but I'm going to be doing another video on that. I'll be showing you guys uh, how I trained her, you know, to do it be the best way, it's the easiest way to do it. Um, it's stuff that you can do on your own. Like, uh, faking the seizure, faking the convulsions, I'm able to do on my own, so I don't need any help. So I can spend as much time as I want teaching her what I want her to do during those times. So I will show you, I'll make a video specifically for training, the first parts of training them for convulsions. And each thing she learns, I will make more videos showing you how I've done it. Uh... And I also want to explain uh, to that, I, I'm sorry, it takes a little bit for me to uh, upload videos on horrible service, horrible Wi-Fi, so it takes like two days for me to upload any videos. And I feel like that all my videos right now are like really scatterbrained and all over the place, because they are. <laughs> I'm on new medication, I started on Monday morning. And at 8 a.m., and I take it two times a day, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, yeah, me on new seizure medication. It's basically Keppra, which I'm allergic to. But, yeah, I got that. So my brain's a little you know, scattered and stuff. But we'll do separate videos of Eva's training. And I'm still trying to get videos of seizures. Um, it's not the easiest when... It's not the first thing my boyfriend thinks of when I go into a seizure is, let me record her. <laughs> it's not the first thing he thinks of, no. And so far, I mean, he's been trying really hard to actually record one. He's really been trying, but it's not something you think about. I mean, that's the one thing I have learned. It's not something that people think about when people go into seizures is, let me record this. Uh. Let me see how he was. She's hearing something outside. Oh. Yeah, she's hearing something outside. But anyways, back to the video. I'm scatterbrained. Um, this is, this is going to be the end of this video. The next one will be a little bit longer. I'm going to try, like I said, to do it. It takes like two days to upload any videos. So I'm going to try as much as I can make as many videos as I can to at least be waiting to be uploaded. Um, I'm just doing, like, vlogs so people can understand and, like, have a little bit more, I don't know, a little bit more understanding. Um, I'm gonna get to a, when I get to a point where I actually have viewers and followers, um, I guess I'll make, I'll have, like, a little fan page on Facebook stuff like that, so you can follow there, you know, like, follow Ziva's progress, uh, you know, I'll be, able, I'll post, when I make, when I post, when I do new videos, I'll post the link and stuff there, you know, or you can just subscribe, and it will tell you when I post one, you know, either way, it will help out, I'm hoping to make this go out big, uh, for, for epilepsy awareness, I hope that people actually follow the videos, and actually, you know, like I said, just comment anything, and I will do a video response to people. Um, I'm not, I mean, like I said, it'll, it takes a few days, so, I mean, I'm not, it's going to be a little delayed, but, I mean, I'll do shout-outs, I'll respond back to people with questions. Uh, if, you are, don't, if you don't have seizures and you have questions on how to support someone with seizures or epilepsy, you know, definitely comment below, and I'll do, I'll either privately message you back or do a video response so like just when it comes I mean if you're commenting then keep up on you know keep looking at the video responses because I'll do videos of those too I'm gonna be doing like all my videos are gonna be all about epilepsy though my service dog me epilepsy my life <laughs> um I do have an Instagram uh account when I start getting followers, I'm not going to make a specific Instagram account for epilepsy as because I'm just going to use my, my actual one mainly because I post a lot about Eva and my, my epilepsy and my service dog stuff on there. So then you can actually see my actual life for people who are interested in my actual life.
<laughs> and how I live it, I guess. I have options for everybody. Okay, um, but yeah, that's all for this video. Just like, subscribe, comment, and uh, help me this decide on what next videos you want to see, I guess. This wide, wide range of things when it comes to epilepsy to talk about unlimited. So, catch you on the next one.